Nisi Lexi, unleash the power of your creativity. Hello everyone and welcome to Nisi Lexi. If you're new here, I'm a content creator, digital marketer, as well as a blogger. And today I'm going to be discussing some important topic for Boss Up Cross Stack Edition. So I know this is our every Friday um, video where we talk about different things for self-improvement, business, networking, mindset, and how to become a boss lady, okay? In the entrepreneurial world. So today I actually wanted to just kind of discuss a very, very important topic. It's all about owning your narrative and crafting a personal brand for your career success. So what does that look like? If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also um, stay tuned for upcoming videos. And you can always go check out more information on my website at www.nisilexi.com. So let's head into the today's topic where we can be discussing more about it. I'm on it. I just want to be iconic. Sipping on a gin and tonic, got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah. If I ever play, I want it, you know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic, keep my face, no way, you don't want it So, welcome to my channel if you're new here And for those who are returning, welcome back uh, So today, we are diving deeper into the topic of the power of personal branding And how it can propel your career to a new height, okay? In a competitive job market right now, it is not just about who you know, it's not about the connections only, you know? It's also about your your present self to how you present yourself to you to the world and also what's your personal brand look like. That's why people have LinkedIn, that's why people have social media, uh, especially if you're a content creator. That is why a lot of time when you see in LinkedIn, you basically, the way you describe about yourself, you highlight all your achievement. That's a personal branding in itself that you're putting out there and all your accomplishment, your awards and things like that, you're highlighting it in there. When you're applying for jobs, recruiters are looking at those, okay? Those are part of your personal brand and you're sharing it into these social platforms and things like that. So, hi for those who are new again. Um, I'm Nisi Alexis, as I told you. I'm thrilled to get you through the process of crafting your personal brand from your career for your career success, okay? So your personal brand is more than just a logo, it's more than just a tagline. It is the essence of who you are, what you stand for, and the value you bring to the table. For a lot of companies, they are looking for that if they're going to hire you and also your success in the career, okay? So let's just start by talking about self-reflections so before you start crafting or complying a personal brand you need to have a deeper understanding of yourself your strength your passion your values and your goals take some time to reflect on what sets you apart from other candidates okay and what makes you more known for your industry what are you so good at that any employer can actually be so attracted to you or any client can actually be like you know what i would rather work with nisi as opposed to the other candidate that is what's your personal brand okay you bring to the table and the number of years you have been in this industry what does your experience look like what what other project have you done so successfully that that you can highlight you can say i'm i'm very well equipped an expert at this particular topic and i can actually deliver x y and z why are you so good at what you're doing right that's also very important and in the next it, it's important for you to also define your unique value proposition okay what makes you so different from everybody else in your field what expert the experts or skills can you bring to the table that others don't have your unique value proposition is the foundation of your personal brand and it should be more communicatively, clearly, and consistently across all platforms. I tell people I'm a digital marketer and I'm a content creator, but I'm also a strategist and I'm able to work. I work with multiple brands, the a million dollar companies. I market their, I do their campaign, I do their audit, and I'm able to help them it scales their lead gen as well as e comms and things like that. I have all of these skills on my roster. And I have also taught people, Googlers, uh, onboarding them 
into becoming a stranger or some of them are actually managers team leads and things like that so because i have trained them and just based on my skill these are all some stuff that are, i have so when i'm coming to the table i'm bringing years of experts and i'm bringing this knowledge into the table so you know i have done the work you know i have the skills so these are some things that you need to be able to highlight from all the stuff that you have been doing and what makes you so unique right so and i would say another thing is that be consistent across all platform consistency is the key when it comes to your personal branding whether you are updating your linkedin posts whether you're updating your social media whether you're going to network marketing for your industry event your personal branding should remain consistent across all platform this helps to build trust and credibility with your audience and also reinforce your brand identity and that's why when you go to my Facebook page, you go to LinkedIn, you go to um, Instagram, you go to all of my social media, you'll be able to see that I am constantly talking about digital marketing. I am constantly talking about content creation because this is what I'm good at and this is the field that I'm in. And I will preach it. Entrepreneurship is what I do. And then you also kind of see that all across the board from all my social media. When I'm going to teach kids at the college, I also talk about personal branding. I talk about marketing for small business to large businesses. And I'm always talking about marketing and digital marketing specifically. So this is the credibility, the trustworthy and being consistent on the topic and what you're really good at. Okay. So next thing I would say, your personal brand is more than just a list of skills and qualification it also could be your story what is your story how did you start um becoming so skills in that industry how did you get to where you are today what challenges have you overcome what lessons have you learned along the way share your stories and how you overcome them what lessons have you learned along the way and then also humanize yourself to your brand so that people can be more relatable to you because for me i have a degree in kinesiology and i'm after completing it, going into working for the yoga studio for two years, and then deciding, you know, during that time, I was really good with the tech industry. I was really good with marketing. And I've always found myself, even during university, I was mostly with like, you know, hosting event, helping with branding and things like that. And that's what makes me understanding, you know what, I'm really good with the creative aspect of things. I'm really good with the marketing things. And that's why, and I also love data and I love the science behind it. And that's why I kind of propel my career to go towards that route as something that I'm really good at. And everybody who able to see, they will know my stories. And that's why also being a part of the big, the one of the national campaign that was launched uh, last year for the youth who, who I really am for the Black Youth Can campaign, also kind of helping and sharing my 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 stories there so all of these over the years kind of highlight and people are able to kind of like for those people who've been following me for the last 10 years they're able to kind of see the stories and how it all came about and finally it is this, huh died hold on So I also want to mention that, you know, once you have identified all of those, finally, it is essential for you to be authentic in your personal branding efforts. So don't try to be somebody you're not, you know, don't try to eliminate anybody else's style. Just be you, be your own authentic self. Your personal brand should reflect who you truly are and also be more authentic and apologetic about yourself. Be you, you know, like own it own your genuine connections with your audience you don't want it to be a replica of somebody else and then i would say in conclusion is that crafting your personal brand is is powerful tool for your career success but it also uh can take time for you to reflect on your strengths defining your unique value propositions and also how you can also tell your story more authentically and how you can position yourself as the leader in your field to attract more exciting opportunity for you and i would say that you know, these are all going to help you with your career and also going to help you with your personal brand. And if you want to know more in detail on how you can also do that with, with the marketing side of things, I have a video about how to create a personal brand. I also taught this lesson uh, in George Brown College. I will post that in the description below so you can go in there and also kind of watch that full training course that I did on personal brand so that you can also craft your own. Um, so thank you for joining me uh 
on the journey of owning your narrative and also creating a personal brand for your career success. Remember, your personal brand is your most valuable asset in today's competitive market, the job market. So take ownership of your story and also watch out for new opportunities that unfold before you. Um, if you found this video very helpful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on personal branding and career development and you can also follow us on social media i am on instagram at nisi lexi official i'm also on tiktok at nisi lexi on on x at nisi lexi or you can also go to my uh facebook page at nisi lexi or simply just google me nisi lexi and you can find me there uh until next time keep up with your crafting your personal brand and also chasing your careers and comment below if you're currently working on improving on your personal brand to get more job opportunities or to get or to get more um, clients for your business as a small business owner. Just comment below some of the stuff that you're doing so that way for people who have find it more valuable to be able to follow you. And I would love the discussion to continue. And as I said, I have some training that I have done on specifically on personal brand. I'll also be posting it in the description below so you guys can also go read that or watch the whole training. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.